All right. Uh, the other guys is a Will Ferrell comedy directed by Adam McKay. And Adam McKay has done a lot of Will Ferrell comedies. He did uh, Step Brothers and Anchorman and Talladega Nights. So they've kind of been a team for a little while. Yeah. And he, I think they have a good working relationship. They sort of know what to get out of each other. And basically what this is about is there's those action heroes that you see in the movies who cause you know more damage than is needed to get the job done. And it's just a, you know those kind of the movies we've been reviewing today, actually. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> and then you, in the background, you always see those cops who are just working and filing. And basically the premise is, what if there was a movie about those guys? And uh, Will Ferrell plays a guy who's quite happy with his job, and he's fine doing as little as possible and having no responsibility. But Mark Wahlberg, who is his partner, um, unofficially, uh, is very frustrated by this, and he wants to be out there, and he wants to be on the streets and doing all the, the cool stunts and getting all the girls and all that stuff, and he's, he's frustrated that he's always stuck in the office. So he takes Will Ferrell out to investigate some uh, like tax fraud or, no, it's lottery fraud. That's no, 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 it's tax fraud. It's tax fraud? Tax evasion, I think, yeah. yeah. That's going on with uh, this rich man um, played by Steve Coogan. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the first two-thirds of this movie is really, really funny. And yeah. There's, a lo there's this whole spiel in the beginning of the movie about uh, the tuna versus the shark that had me in stitches. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. The lion versus the tuna. Oh, you're right, yeah, yeah. Lion versus the tuna. Oh, lion man. Lion versus the tuna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> And there's <laughs> there's just some great comedy and some great exchanges in there that may or may have not been improvised in certain places. Um, and there's a good naturalistic uh, acting in this thing. And there's a, there's a lot of really funny concepts, like this whole concept that Will Ferrell uh, can get any girl he wants, but he's completely unappreciative oh, of totally. it. Oh, <laughs> totally. And Mark Wahlberg is kind of poking <clears throat> fun at his emotionally damaged, hard-ass characters that he always plays in yeah. movies. And I kind of really liked his performance. I think they have a really strange but interesting, fun chemistry. Oh, very much so. Uh, but the problem with the movie is in the third act, they start to repeat jokes because, they, and because they've pretty much come up with all the ideas they can. And then it becomes a series of explosions and set pieces and blah, 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 yeah. blah. But that's usually how these movies go. And in a way, they're kind of parroting the the lack of follow through in most action movies. Mm -hmm. So I give this movie a solid B. I think it's just a, one of the funniest Will Ferrell comedies that he's done with Adam McKay, probably since Anchorman. Yeah, I would agree with that actually. I you know I have to say that it was it was quite refreshing. It's been a long time since there's been a buddy cop comedy action, mm -hmm. with I the mean, exception of Cop Out. Yeah, which we don't <laughs> talk about. <laughs> no, no. <sighs> But, uh, which I still haven't seen, but I still, uh, part of me kind of wants to, just because I have, I have a place in my heart for Tracy Morgan, even though he can't act and he's ridiculous. <laughs> but just anytime he says anything, he instantly has me in stitches because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, back to the other guys. I really liked the throwback to the buddy action movie. Yeah. And I, I agree with you. I thought Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell's chemistry was spot on. Yeah. It was estranged and it was strained, <laughs> but that was kind of the point. Yeah. Is that their characters were so different that it was it was very it, it was very natural. I did not have a hard time buying the fact that they were making this movie together. Yeah, and, and Mark, it, I think this might be the first time I've ever seen Mark Wahlberg really playing at comedy. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think he's been he ridiculous, but he's he's pretty funny. Yeah, I agree. I think he really should do it more. I actually don't mind Mark Wahlberg. I mean, yeah, I do, I like Mark Wahlberg. All I right. do, I do too. I think that there are times when it shines through that he's not that great of an actor. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he should ever win an Oscar, but I'll still go see him in movies because mm -hmm. he's still quite entertaining. Some of his lines, <laughs> I'm a peacock. <laughs> like you stuff like that. Oh, Michael Keaton. Oh my goodness. How have we Michael forgotten Keaton. Michael Keaton? I am a huge Michael <laughs> Keaton fan and he is so underused right now, but he's actually had two of my favorite supporting performances <laughs> this year <laughs> as Ken the doll like, in Toy Story. Yep. And then here in Other Lieutenant. Guys, he plays a police chief and yeah. he, he has to double work. He works as a police chief, but he also works at Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> Oh, I forgot that. He's the so pep top that he gives with the Bed Bath & Beyond. That part where he's like, all right, we got a strangler that's in this neighborhood. Wait, sorry, guys. That's my other job. but You can ignore that. You can ignore that, but, you know. Actually, don't ignore that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you buddy up walking home. I seriously, Michael Keaton, please, please, 
please be in more movies. Well, it's not his fault. It's Hollywood. I know. They've given up on him. Hollywood, put him in more movies. Yeah, amen. Amen. Um, but I... <laughs> what grade did you give the movie? I would say I definitely gave it a solid B. Because, I mean, it wasn't... Yeah. I mean, but it my was... My only problem with the movie is the third act. It, where they start to repeat jokes and it becomes... Ex like noticeably less funny for the yeah. third act. Well, but. and my problem was is that it felt like for the th last third, they were like, oh yeah, we have a plot. Yeah. What are we going <laughs> to, we got to resolve that. We got to hurry. Um, <laughs> that kind of drove me nuts. Um, but Steve Coogan was hilarious in yeah. every scene he was in. I also think, however, there is a scene that takes place probably about three or four minutes into the movie that you will decide if you're going to love the movie or you're going to hate the movie. And it, uh, it That's seriously, I, loved I it. yeah, that was the <laughs> moment my wife and I both looked at each other and were like, "This movie's awesome." <laughs> I don't, I don't care what happens for the rest of the movie. It's, it's at least a C, and then the rest of the movie ended up building it up to a B in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Uh, moving on, because time is.